Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome back to the channel if you're already a subscriber. Today I'm fishing for stripers and I'm live lining Bunker to do that. And if you're not familiar with Bunker, they're just a local bait fish we have here in the Northeast and they're filter feeders so you can't catch them with a lure. They won't strike a lure. You've got to snag them. So you'll see I'm using this. It's a 10 aught weighted hook and I'm just throwing it out there through these schools which it does take a little bit of local knowledge to understand where exactly these fish are but once you can figure that out you'll see them splashing around on the surface and you just throw that hook out there and you'll see here you know I didn't get anything that time but uh, a couple more casts and I'll hook into a bunker here and then I'll have some fresh bait. So years ago, a lot of people would use a method called snag and drop, where after they snagged the bunker on this big treble hook, they would just leave it out there and let it swim. But given the new, new regulations um, around circle hooks and striped bass, you do have to bring the bunker to the boat and rehook it on a circle. And if you're not familiar with a circle hook, it just is a hook that the point actually comes all the way around and it's pointed at the shank of the hook. And the idea is that if a fish swallows it, when you set the hook, it's going to pull it out and it's going to catch the corner of the mouth. In theory, it sounds great in practice. We well, um, I got hooked a fish in this video. You'll see later on using a circle hook, so I'll uh, leave it up to you to decide whether or not it's actually more effective. Nice. Perfect size. I fucking see you. Hey, so by the time I got out of the way of that barge and got the bunker on the hook, it wasn't actually doing so hot. And you want these fish to really be swimming around when you drop them down so they attract attention to the stripers. So, here I am. I'm going to snag up another one and try again. There we go. So different people like to hook these fish in different locations, but I just go with right in the back behind the head, and I'm using a 7 on Kamigatsu inline circle hook. Alright, so now I'm just going to drop it down and let it swim, and because it's got a hook in its back, it's going to stand out from the rest of the bunker, the school that's swimming down there, and hopefully attract the attention of a fish. And you'll see here that I have the drag set really loose once I've got the, uh, the bait out there, just so I know when, when a fish takes it. And with circle hooks, you don't actually have to set the hook. In theory, you just reel. And yeah, so I'm still getting used to, <laughs> to remembering to do that. So, you know, I used to set the hook there, my drag was too loose, and you know, it wasn't exactly uh, how I would have done it if I could do it again. But yeah, with the circle hook, you just start reeling, you actually tighten your drag down, and that this should be all you need to do. circle hook did its job that time. This fish was hooked perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Oh, man. You 
plus I want to make sure after a fight like that that you revive the fish. Uh, just put it in the water, you know, like I'm doing here. Get some water flowing through the gills and make sure it swims off strong. Okay, so now I'm going to snag another bunker and try to catch another bass. Size one. Let him have it. All right, so this is pretty cool. You're going to see a blow up. I see my bunker swim right to the right of it. So it looks like it got attacked three separate times there and I didn't hook up, but that's going to change shortly. How you doing? Better now. Uh, it's the second one. Yeah, they're all over here. So this fish was actually gut hooked, as I alluded to earlier, and um, it is a slot, so I'm going to keep it for the table. If you like these videos, please click the like button, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.